So today what we're going to be doing is creating this face here in Fusion 360 that is using the profile of the photograph of your face uh, and done to scale. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead and select a file and new design to create a new design. You're going to need a photograph of yourself and taken in profile, uh, preferably by somebody else because you want it to be uh, from far away so that it's uh, flattened. And you should be holding up a ruler that has some measurements on it that are easy to, um, to view when you bring in your photograph for reference for calibration. Okay, now that I have my photograph, I'm going to go to Fusion and go select can or insert canvas. And I'm going to find that photo on my computer and hit open and put it on the front face. And remember, this is the front. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This will allow me to see it on the front face. I can move this uh, photograph a little bit up, but you don't have to worry about scaling it or doing anything at this point. Hit OK. Now, if your photograph comes in, uh, I'm going to uh, open up my canvas here. And you can kind of see there the photograph is here. Uh, I'm going to hit Edit Canvas, so we're back to where you were in. If your photograph, normally it comes in at 50%. You can kind of see that here. That means you can see through it, but it's really difficult to see where the ruler marks are. So temporarily, go ahead and bring this opacity up to 100% and hit OK. At this point, you've brought in your photograph and it's time to calibrate it. So we right click on the canvas uh, image and we select calibrate and then we zoom in as much as we can. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to zoom in here. Click on the front. There we go. And uh, I can see that I can see the tick marks when I'm zoomed in well enough. And what we're going to do is let me do this again. Should be in calibrate mode, but if it's not, I'm going to go to calibrate. Click here where I can see one of the tick marks on the ruler. And that's at 30 centimeters. And then I'm going to move up and I can see the one on 10 here and I'm just going to click here. So I know between 10 and 30 is 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters, which is what I'm going to type and hit return. And when I do that, you'll see the photograph has now blown up and is actually perfectly scaled to my face because I know that was 20 centimeters. That means my face is identically correctly um, sized. Okay, the next thing we're going to do uh, I would suggest going to the edit canvas again and bringing the uh, canvas opacity down to around 50% uh, so that we can trace the outline of our face using um, some sketch tools. All right, so let's get started with that. Go to create, create sketch, and we're going to do it on our front plane again. That's where our, our canvas is. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the fit point spline tool. And we're just going to go through nice and uh, zoomed in. Uh, and we're going to click and just continue down, fitting uh, just a general fit for our spline tool here. Try to make sure that you can do this all in one spline tool. If you need extra um, points, we can add those after the fact. So just try to do as good of a job as possible with one single spline uh, and then we're going to go back in and fix all these uh, after we've created them. There we go and once you're finished or at the end you can just hit this little checkbox or you can hit the return key and that will finish uh, the splines. At this point you're going to zoom in and you're going to adjust the handles right, of each of these points uh, as well as adjust the point location so that it fits uh, more perfectly to your profile. For me, I've got a little bit of chin hair here, so just ignore that. But I can see that this needs to be adjusted like this. And again, it's all a matter of just taking the time. This is where uh, you're going to do, you're going to get graded. Um, I am going to um, move a little bit faster at this point because I don't want you guys uh, just watching me do this video, but you can, I'm just hopefully showing you some stuff here that uh, kind of will help you with your own piece here so you can move things around. 
Okay, normally I would spend a little more time here uh, and get, at least I'm going to get this nose thing correct. There we go. This one goes up here. You can see I'm really trying to get this um, to kind of fit, you know, best fit here. There we go. This is pretty close. This is good. Maybe get that handle to kind of be a little bit inward more. There we go. And then finally this handle needs to come up a little bit. So you can kind of see how, how tight maybe here's an exception and I would just fix that by taking this. There we go. And that changes. Be careful when you change handles because it changes the the two things around it. So you guys, whenever you change something, the other stuff changes as well, which is why it's nice to go through this uh, from bottom to top, just so if anything changes, uh, you can see it. Okay, close enough for this tutorial, right? So I'm going to zoom out. Okay, now I have the profile. I'm just going to hit return at this point. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to create a line and it's a vertical line and it's going to be on this side uh, and I'm just going to click it and go straight down and hit escape and now this line I want to dimension uh, and I, so I go to D for dimension and I want to dimension this uh, at 220 millimeters. It is now a 220 millimeter vertical line. Uh, I just need two more lines to come off the edge or the top and the bottom so I'm going to click make select the line tool click here, go all the way across, hit here, and then hit uh, return or escape, and that makes a line. You can see I can click on it. It's blue and it's at right angle. And I do the same thing down here. I just select the line tool, click here, go straight across, uh, hit, hit escape, and now that makes another line. And you'll notice that if I go across, it'll cross the path of my face. You notice that the top line is not crossing the path and therefore there's no blue here but if I were to take this entire thing and move it you can kinda see now I have the ability to move this anywhere I want and so I'm gonna move it so that it crosses the path and once it does so you can see it now makes um, an interior body uh, and so I'm gonna move this out a little bit if you do not see this uh, spot that means something's not crossing and that means you have to extend your path uh, for your face or you need to uh, extend these lines maybe they're not reaching as far as they should I'm a little worried about this bottom here uh, going too far off the edge of the printer so what I'm gonna do is add one more line uh, I'm gonna select it here and I'm just gonna make a, a vertical line and I'm gonna go straight down around here and then hit escape so now I have this part here which I can turn around and I know it'll fit on the printer uh, and I will just ignore this when I rotate it. If this is what you've got, go ahead and select Finish Sketch. Uh, and you can see it's there along with your canvas. You can turn your canvas off. We don't need that any longer. You can now create uh, your vase. So go to Create, Revolve. And we're going to select just this. If it's, I'm going to hit Get Rid of the Profile. Notice you have two profiles here. Uh, don't select the little one. Select this one. Uh, and the axis we're going to select this vertical line that we made and we're gonna hit OK and you can see that the profile that I've made is in fact inside of that face now we've done some tests and normally I would say export this to be shelled on the printer but there are some issues with printing this with a single outline especially because some of these uh, areas like here dips down uh, that's going to be a real problem. So what we've decided uh, for this assignment is we're going to go ahead and shell it here and make an inside and an outside. And the way you do that, go to Modify, uh, Shell, select the body. Here it is. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a 5 millimeter shell. At this point, you now have a goblet uh, or chest piece or whatever you want to call it, a vase, um, giant chest piece. Uh, at this point we can export it so we're gonna go to mesh we're gonna go to export 3d print we're gonna turn off the send to 3d printer checkbox we're gonna select our body and we're gonna hit preview 
so that we can see what kind of mesh we have. And you can kind of see based on this that high is a lot of polygons. I might like medium better because it's smoother maybe, or even uh, low. And you can see it's still both of those pretty good. We're going to hit OK, and we're going to save this as face, vase, uh, three, because I've done three of these. Hit save, and I've saved it to my desktop. At this point, we're going to open up our E L E G O O uh, Cura on the, the computers if you're going to use the Neptune. Um, and I'm going to do that right now. And you can see Elegu Cura is uh, here. We're going to go ahead and drop or open up our face, vase 3 that we just put in. And if everything is good, uh, it will show uh, yellow. Now, if you see some red, uh, let me see if I can uh, show you here. If you see some red, and I do, right? Every, if everything is yellow, you do not need supports for this. But if something is red, and something on the inside could be red as well, you might not see it, but it's red on the inside, you need supports for this. So what we're going to do is go to our presets here, and instead of using the profile that we used in uh, class, which is our vase profile, we're going to go to either fast or faster. This is what I suggest. Uh, and we're just going to print this the normal way of printing it. One thing I know I do not need is a brim. So if you are in this basic mode here, uh, I would go into the custom mode, right? Under fast or faster this is what I've selected. Um, and what we're going to do is just walk through some of the settings that uh, will help you get this to be perfect. I'm just closing these up so you don't see them. So as far as quality is concerned, that should be preset based on your, your thing. Your walls should be set at 2 and 0.8. Uh, top and bottom should be set at 1 and 1 millimeter. The infill should be 15%, which it is. Right, and what we do need is the supports. So open up support, and we're going to do general support. We're going to select tree, and you can put it everywhere. This makes sure that the inside of the um, your vase is also um, also has supports, just in case it needs it. Uh, I use tree just because it'll be easier to rip off. I hope. Uh, and then as far as build plate adhesion, you can select this to none. And that means it won't create a brim because that's a pretty big uh, base. Now, if your base is really small, you should have a brim. Uh, at this point, we should be able to hit the slice button. It'll slice this up so that we can take a look at what we're going to be printing. And it'll also tell you how long this print will take uh, using the Elegoo Neptune printers, something that you should tell your group members about. So still slicing and almost there here we go nine hour print oh my god this is terrible let's hit the preview button see what we've got so always good before you put the stuff on your hard drive is just to go through and see where the problems lie so i'm going to go down here looks like this would be the only problem but we have some inside supports there to help us and you can see the supports on the inside are just being printed we'll probably not be able to remove those the ones on the outside will probably be able to remove no problem because they're only touching this lip right here. It seems like all the other areas do not need supports, as you can kind of see. Now, um, that's it. You're going to save this to the little hard drive. Uh, make sure you do have a top, and uh, obviously the bottom will be 3D printed as well. Uh, this will guarantee success for the vase. You'll probably need to sand this a little bit uh, after you take it off the... Um, the print bed and give yourself the nine hours and 25 minutes uh, needed to make this work. Um, hope this helps and um, look forward to seeing what you guys create.